Welcome back, folks. It is a wonderful Wednesday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the hump day forecast right now as we take a look outside at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. We're looking southward and we've got a little bit of some heavier cloud coverage as we look that way from the tower cam here in Grand Junction. And these are a little bit of some storm clouds. We might be seeing some thunderstorms as we get into those later evening hours. We'll continue to watch those as they roll on in. We'll notice those temperatures are just right around those seasonal averages. Grand Junction is just a few degrees above what we're typically used to in Montrose, Gunnison, Telluride, just a few degrees below. And that cloud coverage is what's making those temperatures just a few degrees below in those southern areas. And like I just said, that chance for storms is rolling on in for the western slope as we get into the end of the work week. Our pollen forecast hasn't really shifted too much. We've got some moderate weeds, low grasses and mold, and not really any tree pollen in terms of those irritations hanging on out for us here on the western slope. Currently, Grand Junction is still feeling on that warmer side of things in that mid 90s, 94 degrees. Rifle 93, Delta at 94, and Moab even at 91. But Montrose is at 88, and Gunnison's at a cool 70 right now as that cloud coverage rolls on through. Our humidity levels are above what we're typically used to for this time of year. 22% in Grand Junction, 20 in Rifle, 26 in Moab. Those southern areas looking at 24% in Montrose and even at 64% in Gunnison. And those areas are actually going to get quite the increase as we get into those later evening hours. So might be feeling a little bit humid, might be feeling a little bit muggy outside. Our radar and satellites going to show us that high pressure system that's continuing to circle over Colorado, which is what's bringing us those warm temperatures. But there's a little bit of a push and tug uh, between this low pressure system closer to that west coast area that's causing that unsettling in the middle of the atmosphere, causing that updraft and causing that chance for some storms. As we take a closer look, we'll notice uh, that fight is going to continue and that kind of draft is going to push northward and give that chance for storms along that Four Corners region. A closer look is even going to show us 10.30 p.m. chance for maybe a single cell storm to roll on through tomorrow morning. Looking at just some cloud coverage tomorrow, those later afternoon hours, Montrose, Telluride, single cell storms are rolling on through to give us that chance. Now, mind you, key word there is chance, folks for three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall. And as we get into those early evening hours, even more severe storms are rolling on through. And by the time we get into Thursday and Friday, a little bit of a less, we're getting into that 10 20% chance for storms. Now, mind you, I, I keep saying the word chance, and I want you to remember that that rain might not necessarily reach the ground. Your radar on your phone might even show a little bit something different, but you might even see rain at your house due to this thing called Virga. It's also called a dry thunderstorm. It's a visible streak of precipitation that falls from those clouds, and you see it, but it evaporates before reaching the ground and how that works is actually the cumulus stage makes that warm air rise causes that updraft from that warm air on the ground and as we get into that next stage it's a mature stage those clouds continue to grow causing that cotton candy looking cloud with that strong updraft present and even as we get into that final stage of things the dissipating stage that's when that warm air continues to stay right there not necessarily reaching the clouds and that rain doesn't reach the ground causing those dry airs the extended forecast is going to show us hanging out with the warmest day of the week tomorrow and that rain dissipating by the time we get into the weekend in Montrose a few degrees cooler of course but by the time we get into the early work week it does look like sunshine's returning.